I'm here in this beautiful evergreen forest. I've got my tarp with me today. I found a little clearing, which I think will be nice for the night. And I might try to make like a little frame with some fallen evergreen. So I've only got about an hour of daylight. Let's get going. <laughs> before it gets dark. beautiful mountain water. You can't beat that. I have got my lovely little shelter up. Um, that was harder than I thought it was going to be and it was getting dark as well so I'm glad I got everything done just about in time I think. I have chopped off the spiky bits off of my tripod poles. That's just in case they do fall down in the night I don't want to get skewered but now I'll just get a bump on the head that's fine it is nice and still and it's forecast to be still until tomorrow afternoon so that should be fine I wouldn't want to camp in a pine forest if it was very windy because pines being so tall can get blown over very easily and this forest actually is full of blowdowns so anything more than a light breeze don't fancy in here. I actually found this quite tricky to put up, sort of orienting everything around the right way and getting everything the right level, but I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. I have used some guys at the side and pinned the sides down as well, and I've used some paracord off from the back to pull this back bit out here to give it a bit more headroom. It's got loads of headroom in here now, and to give it some stability, and I've done the same at the front off of the front corner to a tree just to give it more stability that way as well. So I'm hoping it'll stay up all night. I've not tried anything like this before with a tarp using wooden posts to create a tripod to put a tarp up. I'm probably doing stuff wrong I don't know but I just wanted to have a go at this and see if it worked and so far it seems to work pretty well. I have of course got my trekking poles so I could have just used them to put the tarp up but I didn't want to today. I wanted to try something different but I've got them in case this doesn't work out. I think it's time to make some dinner. Got a nice Thai red curry. Gonna get that on. four degrees at the moment so not too cold but I've got my hand warmers in my down booties keeping my tootsies warm so I thought since I've got a long night ahead lots of darkness now it's early February long night I would answer some questions that come up quite often so the first one is are you really alone well I hope so uh, yeah I'm really alone this question ranges from people sort of curiously asking are you really alone to people Pretty much saying come on we know you're not alone stop trying to fool us type thing i am alone and i like being alone i'm a lone wolf i enjoy my own company i like the peace and quiet i'm not an overly social person anyway i guess a lot of people feel that they would be uncomfortable being out alone um, especially as a lone female and that's fair enough so i guess some people assume that i am too which leads me to my next question which is don't you ever get scared yes I absolutely do get scared I've got my fears I'm scared of heights which I'm working on gradually I'm scared of bad humans actually having experienced bad humans in the past unfortunately I know they exist I know the risk is real but uh, what can I say about that I guess I feel that in the mountains and in forests I am so much safer 
than I am in a town centre, for example. I'm not scared of the dark nature noises, creeks and all that stuff. Um, unless I'm camping near a graveyard, then I do get a bit freaked out. I am scared of ticks as well. I don't have an issue with insects, even insects that want to suck my blood. But I really dislike ticks because I worry about contracting Lyme disease or some sort of disease that could affect my health long term and make my hobby and my passion really difficult to do. So they're probably my top three fears. But yeah, I have fears. I tend to just get on with what I want to do regardless because I'm stubborn and if there's something I want to do, not much is going to stop me. Obviously, you try and mitigate risks as much as you can but I would rather have a life with a bit of risk in it that is thoroughly well lived than a life where I am comfortable and safe all the time. How do you find time to go out so much? I'm probably not out as much as it looks because I space my videos out. I actually have a free weekend every other weekend when my son is at his dad's so that's when I do all my filming. The rest of the time I am working, I'm a photographer, I'm being mum, I'm making dinners, I'm doing housework, I'm paying bills and I'm sitting at my desk and doing all that stuff that everyone else is doing as well. What made me get into hiking and outdoorsy stuff? I've been hiking since I didn't even know what hiking was. I used to go for long walks like all day. I guess I feel at home in wild places. My mind is quite fast and busy and I don't enjoy noise groups of people. Modern life can be a bit frying for my brain and I feel very comfortable out in nature. I have of course been through stuff like everyone has. I've had things that I have to heal from and being out and about has helped me do that. One of the main things for me is that it makes me feel free which is so important to me and I feel like it sort of realize me to a more primitive and simple way of being like when your concerns are your shelter where you're going to get your water from and how you're going to stay warm enough and I just feel like that's a nice little reset because those are the sort of concerns we're designed to worry about not work and earn enough money and and then of course it's just so indescribably beautiful it makes my heart glad I know I've said that before but that's how I feel about it and um that's it really. I love it. That will do for my rambling tonight. I'm gonna get to bed soon. See you in the morning guys. Bye. Morning guys. I've had a few hours sleep but there's a lot of wind gusts coming in now. I wasn't expecting so early on so I don't know I don't like strong winds in um, pine forests like this so I think I'm gonna get up and get going it'll be light scene anyway I'm all packed up now. I've just got to take the tarp down and my ground tarp. Feeling a bit less nervy about the wind now that it's light and I'm up and about. And with any luck, I would see anything fall in and jump out of the way. Um, it's not the best at night when you wake up thinking you've got a steel night and there's a big gust coming in. But yeah, that's fine. I had a few hours, so that's all right. Right, I'm gonna get this tarp down. out of here now I guess we can add falling pine trees to my list of stuff I'm scared of <laughs> I really loved that I loved using the wood as like a frame that was really fun I probably wasn't doing it right but 
it didn't matter, it stayed up. So I've got a bit of a trek out of here now. So I'm just gonna crack on because I think it might rain soon. I'm heading to Lynn Elsie today. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. So I'm gonna have a tarp camp by a beautiful like forest lake. The weather forecast is torrential rain and gale force winds. So that'll be interesting. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys, bye.